Hey, so once again, we have a fair amount of things happening here at the Fireboard Headquarters Remodel. And uh, yeah, let's just go through and show you some stuff that's been going on and some stuff that I'm getting ready to do. For starters, Sean and Jeremy from Kate's, a couple of great guys, were here working on my HVAC system. So there used to be a heater and a coil in that corner and they're now in the dumpster. So those got trashed. We're gonna keep this old run, but then Jeremy and Sean ran this trunk line all the way down and it's stopping here for this space. And then in here, I think they ran some more. Yeah, they ran some more here. Oops, pan down, <laughs> tilt down, sorry, Neil. Um, we got some more here that was ran to fill out this space. So that was exciting to have some of that stuff going on. We've also been partnering with one source to provide us some temporary labor. Michael was here and he pressure washed all of this wood up here. Took him a little while. Not sure if that's because, well, it just took him a little while but it looks really good, really good. All this wood has been cleaned up now. I didn't want to pressure wash to the extent that I did upstairs, but this wood looks really, really good. It's still drying out. Um, we'll take a couple of days to dry out, but then uh, that looks good because that'll be our ceiling. So yeah, I finished this corner, framing all of that in. So that's all done. I might throw a couple of more boards up here at some places, but for the most part, I'm very happy with the way all of this looks so that when people walk in here in the front door, they would be able to look up here and see this. And I, I think it looks great. I've been prepping to do a little painting. We're gonna paint some ceiling here. This is mostly a test just over here to see how well this will be covered. This will be a, oh, a mechanical room uh, anyway. So we're gonna just test that. So I have the plastic up. I'm, pla I'm painting with dry fall, black dry fall paint. So black dry fall paint has been designed to spray and any particles that come down will dry before they hit the ground so that you can just sweep up what's left. So that's pretty cool. This area in here is also prepped to spray the dry fall on the ceiling. So I have the beams all masked off. All of the HVAC spiral duct is masked off because when the dry fall falls, it takes a little while to dry out. So um, I still had to mask some things, you know? I hear a truck outside and we're expecting a delivery. So I should go see if my delivery is here. Yeah, so that was the shipment that I was looking for, which is good. Oh, hell, it's great. It came last week and I had eye surgery on my left eye, my good eye. And so now I'm seeing much better, which is awesome. It was just cataract surgery, so it wasn't like a real surgery. but. Regardless, so he came last week. I wasn't here because I was out for that. Nobody else was around to get it, blah, blah, blah. So he came today and I'm leaving early today <laughs> and uh, I wanted to make sure I was here when he came. So let's see what we got. Here's my poor lift, which is leaking again. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully I didn't ruin the lift because it started smoking a little bit, but don't tell anybody about that. Regardless, we got the stuff off the truck. Here is, supposedly these are conveyors or something that help us. <laughs> Ted has explained it to me several times, a little bit, not in detail, but he has explained that we have conveyors, other machinery coming. So I got it off the truck today. I guess that was the important part. And then this third tall one. Um, also, it was interesting to see this. Here's this tip and tell, see this? So if there are beads in this little triangle thing, then it knows, then you know that it has been tipped over. And there are no beads because it wasn't when it got here. And fortunately, I didn't tip it over either. 